Hi, this is your girl Wilma Bowman. I'm your pastor on YouTube, and this is Jesus and a cup of coffee. And I hope you join me today as we study the Word of God. All right? All right. Let's get our Bibles ready. It's in the King James Version. And we're going to turn over to um, Matthew chapter 25, going down to 35, verse 35 and 40. All right. As we study the Word of God today, I hope you uh, get a blessing from the, the scriptures, and, and I hope that it sure blesses you. All right, go to Matthew 25, verse 35, and we'll go down to 40, okay? All right. For I was a hungry, hungry, and you gave me no, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungry? and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. That's a good scripture, ain't it? So, so um, our righteousness spreads abroad in, in, in righteousness. When we're uh, feeding the poor uh, or clothing them or giving them a little drink uh, or drink water or if we uh, clothe them or we give them um, a place to stay to keep them warm, we're doing the Lord's service. And as we do it unto him, unto these little ones, he calls us little ones, and we're doing it unto him. All right. Well, let's go to Proverbs chapter 31. Proverbs chapter 31. No, 14th chapter and 31. I'm sorry about that. He that oppresses the poor reproaches his maker, but he that honoreth him hath mercy on the poor. So if you oppresses the poor, do wrong unto them and make them uh, even worse than what they are, you're doing evil to them. You're doing evil unto the Lord. And that is, uh, you'll be showing bad fruits. The Lord wants you to be good to the poor. It's, it's, it's doing righteousness if you do good unto the poor. Uh, go to Hebrew chapter 6, verse 10. Six, verse ten. All right, six, verse ten. It says, For God is not unrighteousness to forget your work and labor of love which ye have shewed toward his name, in that ye have done ministered, that ye have ministered. To the saints and do minister. It's even it's even called ministering if you um, if you do good unto the uh, the Lord's people, it, the poor. It don't matter if they're sinners or not. So it it God will not forget your good works of love. That is of love, and when you do good works, okay, it's of love. 
You're showing them love. You're showing them God's love. Let's go back to Matthew 25. Matthew 25. Um, let's go to verse 31 and, and 34. 31 through 34. All right. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and behold, and wait a minute, wait a minute, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. Hmm. Let's study about that. The sheep from the goats. Let's let's go to Revelation chapter chapter twenty, verse twelve. Twenty verse twelve. And it says, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. See, it's according to your works, you know. When you get before God, all the works that you've done, everything that you have done, everything if you have said, is going to be opened. If there's a, someone writing a book about you at your life story here on this earth, everything that you do is recorded in heaven in a book. Whether it be good or evil, it's recorded in, in heaven. Whether it be good or evil. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 25. Let's go to 20. Let's go to 41. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. See, that uh, hell is not prepared for us. It's not God's choice to put us there. It's your choice. See, that place is prepared for the devil and his angels. It's not prepared for us. Because he was evil. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to... Okay, have we done 41? Let's go to Matthew 25, verse 45. Okay. Make sure. Okay, 21. Verse 45. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. See? You did it not to God, if to the Lord. If you didn't do it to help one of these little ones, his precious little ones, we are called his little ones. And if you do good or evil to them, it's wrote in a book. It, you, and God don't forget. He does not forget. your uh, Even your love of, of kindness, he don't forget. So if you do good unto the little ones that is needed of help, anybody that is in need of help, you're doing it to the Lord, okay? It says back to that scripture once more. If you, as you did it not to one of these least of these, you did it not to me. So you're not helping the least ones in, that is in need of help. You're not doing it to the Lord also. Let's go to Acts chapter 9 verse 5. Okay, 9, verse 5. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? 
And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. So if you're hurting God's little ones, you're, you're persecuting the Lord. Let's go to... Uh, Matthew 46. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Matthew 46. And they shall go away in everlasting punishment, but the righteous into, into life eternal. So if we're doing evil, we're going to be punished into an everlasting fire and brimstone and but if we are righteous and our righteous goes before god we will have life eternal ain't that wonderful we have life eternal but if we're evil we'll have a persecution of hell and fire and brimstone okay uh let's go to matthew i did say yeah matthew 46 all right 46 Uh, he said, uh, "We're called sheep, and the and the ones that's evil will be are uh, there called uh, goats. So we'll be thrown if we're goats and uh, called the goats. If we're evil, you'll be thrown. You'll be on his left hand, but the sheep will be on his right uh, on the, in judgment. So you'll be turned into an everlasting punishment. But the righteous on his right hand." will have a life eternal. But the punishments, the punishment will be the fate of the unfaithful. All right. Psalms 11, verse 6. Psalms 11, verse 6. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, Fire and brimstone and an horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. See, that'll be your portion of the unfaithful. We don't want to be tortured and punishment like that on our life, on our after our death. Uh, we'll have uh, well, our soul uh, a go before God and and a judgment. And we, where we do good or evil, we have to be judged. All right. If you judged for their for your unfaithfulness of evilness of wickedness of unrighteousness, you'll be uh, thrown into the fire, uh, everlasting fire, of brimstone. But that'll be your portion of your cup for eternity. That's eternity. There is no more after that. That is your resting place. We don't want our resting place to be there, do we? He said, for the righteous, um, verse 7, for the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. His countenance do, doeth behold the upright. The upright are the righteous. All right. But the fate of the righteous it tells you the fate of the righteous. Now, uh, if we go to Matthew 35, let's read the rest of this. For I was a hungry, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Let's see if I can read any more. So, uh, we want to inherit the kingdom of God. If we're doing good unto those little ones, we're doing good to God. So, he wants us to do good on this earth. Uh, that is, that's like work. That's like doing our work. And we'll get a reward on the hereafter if we uh, do the work of the Lord. You know, that's, that's what we're here for, to help out each other and help. Uh, and show love, show the love of God, so sinners will will know of uh, the love. They will see the love of God, and they'll turn to God. All right. 
All right. So uh, the fate of the righteous says we will inherit the kingdom. It is prepared for you. If you, I need to go over to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. And let's see what that says. Uh, 2, verse 9, 1 Corinthians. All right, verse 2, chapter 2, verse 1, verse 2. All right, verse 9. But as it is written, now listen to this, I, your eye, hath not seen nor heard nor ear heard, neither have entered into your heart of the of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. It, but listen to this. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. So if we're living for God, we'll know the deep things of God, won't we? See the place that God has prepared for the righteous. Our eye have not seen, our ears have not heard it, and our heart is not con will not be able to contain. We won't be able to contain it. What a great place that's going to be prepared for us, okay? But if we're living with the, for the Lord and we're filled with the Holy Ghost, He He shows some people. That place where he has prepared for us. L like he has shown John. The Baptist. He showed him what heaven. That precious place. Is be like you know. He showed him. If we go to Revelation chapter 21. Verse 3 and 4. Revelation. Alright. Verse chapter 21. Okay, and I think it's three and verse four. Let's read that. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. No more death. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Did you... Just, did you, did you take that to heart? Be no death. There be no pain. Be no more, no more torture on this earth. Be no more tribulations that we have to go through. You know? For it all be passed away. We'll not have to be tortured no more on this earth. That old Satan, he likes to torture us and put us through sorrow. Now, if you turn to chapter 22, Revelation, verse 1 and 5. Let me read uh, what John the Baptist saw, the vision what God showed him. And see, only certain people can even see these visions, what heaven is, and what it looks like. And let me read it to you. And he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as a crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God, and of the Lamb, and of the Lamb in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life. And life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yield did her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation, 
and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God, and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their forehead. And there shall be no light, be no night there, and they need no candle, need light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall range forever and ever. Praise God. Ain't that a wonderful ain't that wonderful? We need to go back to uh Revelation chapter twenty two and verse twelve. Go down to verse twelve. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. As your work shall be, see? The Lord will give you your reward after after life in the judgment seat. The Lord shall give us our portion and what our cup and our fate will be. Will be either life eternal in heaven or life eternal in hell. So which, which place do you want to go to? I want to prepare my place in heaven. I want it prepared for me in heaven. So I want you to be there too. So we can all be happy and no more death, no more sorrow, no more pain. Everything of all this world be passed away. So I want you to live righteous on this earth so we can have a great reward in heaven. Okay? Okay. And that's what I wanted to read to you today. Uh, so if we're doing righteousness works on this earth and we're living for the Lord, see, it's all going to be counted good for us and we'll have a reward in heaven on the hereafter. So I want, I want to, I wanted to share that with you. So let's do good to those. Let's be good. Let's be nice and sweet and kind. It all come back for us. It all come back to us. Everything that's good to come back to us. You know, and uh, so I hope you enjoyed our study today, and uh, and I hope you got a good good understanding of it, and and I and I hope I've done some good for you. So come back to me next time as we join together again in the Word of God in the King James Version. Thank you for stopping by.